Let's take a look at number 10. J.J. Watt, coming out of the University of Wisconsin, was a freakish athlete with extraordinary combination of skills, strength, power, length. Even though he only had 11 and a half sacks during his time at Wisconsin, I love the athleticism that I saw at the combine. 6'5", 290 pounds, 4'8", 40", 37 inch vertical, and a 10 foot broad jump. You thought that he would be a special player, but I don't know if anyone thought that he would grow into being a three-time defensive player of the year, someone who could dominate the game inside or outside, 76 sacks in 83 games. He has exceeded the expectations that accompanied his arrival in Houston as a top pick. At nine, how about Sean Merriman coming out of the University of Maryland? You talk about an A-level athlete with big play potential. He had 22 sacks during his three seasons with the Terrapins. Went to the combine and absolutely blew it up. 6'4", 272 pounds, 4'6", 440, 40 inch vertical. And you saw that athleticism translate to outstanding production. His first three seasons in the league, 39 and a half sacks. He was the 2005 defensive rookie of the year, two-time All-Pro. Even though injuries kind of nullified what he was able to do as a pro, this was a standout performer, someone who certainly lived up to the hype that accompanied his arrival at San Diego. At eight, how about Khalil Mack? When you're looking at small school standouts, you want to make sure that they're able to dominate on the field. He was a dominant player during his time at the University of Buffalo. All-time leader in tackles for loss with the Bulls. 75, had 16 forced fumbles. He was an excellent player with an outstanding combination of strength, power, and explosiveness. He has been nothing short of spectacular with the Oakland Raiders. Uh, 2016 Defensive Player of the Year. He's the only player in 2015 to earn all pro recognition at two spots at outside linebacker and defensive end. Terrific playmaker. He is the hallmark of a defense that has an opportunity to lead the Raiders back to greatness. Khalil Mack was outstanding, continues to be outstanding as a pro. Let's go to seven. How about Vic Beasley coming out of Clemson? I know he was a little slender when you watched his cat-like quickness and his ability to bend around the corner. You thought that he could be a special player. This is a player that had 33 sacks at Clemson, was a standout performer, natural rush skills. I love the way he was able to play with finesse and power. We saw him coming to his own last season with the Atlanta Falcons. 15 and a half sacks, six forced fumbles, led the Falcons to the Super Bowl, also earned his first Pro Bowl berth. I think we're beginning to see the best of yet what's yet to come for Vic Beasley in Atlanta. At six, how about DeMarcus Ware? Another small school standout. You wondered would his game translate to success in the National Football League? Even though he dominated the competition at Troy, 27 and a half sacks, 55 and a half tackles for loss, and what is an outstanding player in the Senior Bowl, you still worried if he can make that transition. He answered those questions splendidly. 138 and a half sacks, four-time All-Pro player, two-time sack champion. He got it done, not only in Dallas, but also with the Denver Broncos, where he captured a Super Bowl title. This was one of the best pass rushes that we've ever seen enter the league. Coming from small school status, you just don't see it. DeMarcus Ware is a standout performer. He deserves to be on the top ten of this list. At five, Dwight Freeney coming out of Syracuse. Little undersized at only 6'1", 255 pounds, but his cat-like quickness, his explosiveness, and the killer spin move that he displayed at Syracuse on the way to getting 34 sacks and 51 and a half tackles for loss continued to allow him to have success in the league. This is a guy that in 7 of 11 seasons with the Indianapolis Colts, he had at least 10 sacks. He has 122 and a half sacks in his career. Dominant player, not quite the player that he once was, but he certainly played up to the hype. He deserves to be in my top five. At four, Jadavian Clowney. And I know there was a lot of conversation on who was the best pass rusher in his class, Khalil Mack or Clowney. But when you look at this guy, he is almost a superhero on the surface. 6'5", 250 plus pounds, generational talent, had 21 sacks at South Carolina during his first season. Even though he was disappointing his junior year, when you looked at him at the combine, 4'5", 40, 37-inch vertical, 10 for a broad jump at 266 pounds. You had to gamble on the upside. It took him a while to realize his potential, but last season we saw him earn a Pro Bowl berth, took over the Houston Texans defense in the absence of J.J. Watt. This is a dominant player, someone that could be one that we talk about for a long time. At three, 
How about T-Sizzle, Terrell Suggs? Big lesson that I learned in evaluating Suggs, value production over pro day workouts. This is a player that set the NCAA single season mark with 24 sacks in one season. You saw those skills translate into immediate success in the National Football League. Won the Defensive Rookie of the Year award in 2003. Came back late in his career. Was the Defensive Player of the Year in 2011. Six-time Pro Bowl, 114 and a half sacks. He is a monster off the edge. His rugged style has been successful. He deserves to be in that top three. At two, we're going to take it to Von Miller from Texas A&M. Big-time playmaker. Really reminded me of my former teammate, Derek Thomas. Explosive first-step quickness. Cat-like instincts. Has a natural bend and burst off the corner. We saw it at Texas A&M when he had 33 sacks, 50 and a half tackles for loss. He has continued to be a dominant player in the league. 73 and a half sacks in 88 games. Super Bowl 50 MVP. This is a standout performer, an outstanding player. He is revolutionizing the position as a speed first pass rusher. At number one, we have to bring it home with a Tar Heel standout two sport player at the University of North Carolina. Julius Peppers is the best pass rusher that I've ever seen as a collegiate. This is a guy who was natural when it came to his athleticism, had natural hand skills, could get home. As a sophomore, he led the nation with 15 sacks. We have seen that production continue as he's been a pro. 143 and a half sacks, 54 fumbles, 18 fumble recoveries during a spectacular 15-year career. He has been everything that we thought he would be and more. He deserves to be the top player on this list.